Hello Husky Nation, my name is Crystal Termini. Welcome to This Week in Top Shelf Sports. It was a bit slower here in DeKalb, but we still have some action to break down. So let's start on the hardwood. The men's basketball team played a tough game in Kalamazoo last night against the Western Michigan Broncos that unfortunately ended in a loss. The Huskies played a good game, trailing by 13 with only four minutes to go. They rallied back and came up short, losing the game 76 to 74. Four players scored double figures for the men's team who were led by junior guard Eugene German with 29 points, seven rebounds, and four assists. Another bright spot was senior Dante Thorpe with 14 points for the team. The Huskies take on Bowling Green and DeKalb on Saturday for the Cram the Convo game. Tip-off is set for 3.30. Over the weekend, the men, the, excuse me, the women's basketball team went on the road and defeated the Ball State Cardinals 93 to 83 to extend their winning streak to three games. Senior guard Michaela Voigt led the team with 37 points, going from 10 to 18 from the field, going 8 for 10 from the three-point line, and 9 for 10 at the free throw line. The Huskies will continue their road trip tonight as they take on the Miami Redhawks. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. The gymnastics team is absolutely rolling right now, coming off a straight sweep at the NIU quad meet. The ladies rolled into Southeast Missouri, excuse me, Missouri State and dominated again. The Huskies posted the second best score for the team all season with a 194.750. The ladies will continue their road trip Sunday when they head to Muncie, Indiana for a matchup with MAC opponent Ball State. The softball team got off to a solid start this season after taking three of their first five matchups at the Lion Classic 1. The Huskies lost the first game against San Jose State, but managed to win three of their next four, including a 2-1 to -one victory over Nichols State University. The team went yard all weekend with senior outfielder Jenny Van Geertry hitting three home runs of her own. Next up for Huskies is a trip to San Diego this Friday. They face UC Santa Barbara at the 29th annual Campbell Cartier Classic. It may not look like it outside, but baseball season is right around the corner for NIU, with opening day coming Friday night against Cal Baptist in warm Riverside, California. The team finished 20 to 36 last season, a three win improvement from 2017. The team will have a chance at four wins to start the season with a game Friday night, a Saturday doubleheader, and the final game of the series Sunday afternoon. This weekend was an impressive showing for the men's tennis team. They defeated, they defeated Eastern Illinois and Wright State at home on Saturday in convincing fashion. The Huskies only dropped one set all day long, thus sweeping their opponents 7 to nothing. This momentum carried into Sunday as they beat St. Francis 7 to nothing as well. The Huskies have a week off, but will take a six-match win streak into play next weekend when they take on Butler. And staying on the court, the women's tennis team has not seen the same success as the men. After winning in convincing fashion against Green Bay, the Huskies dropped two consecutive matches to Bradley University and the University of North Dakota. The ladies will look to turn the tide Saturday in the Windy City as they take on Chicago State. This Friday is our first full sports show of the semester, and we have some pretty exciting things to show you. A new open, a titan of a story, and a new look into our new head coach. Tune into our show Friday at 1 to see all of these new elements. That's all I have for this week's update. Be sure to follow us on social media and tune into our live show every Friday at 1215. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Husky Nation.